Independent candidates are in a celebratory mood. They maintain that the IEC has failed to correctly interpret the ruling of the Constitutional Court. The IEC initially said that the court only ordered it to provide addresses for people who were registered after November 2015 ruling. For so many years they have been running elections but they needed to understand today how elections ought to be run in this county. The IEC in the province says they will study the court ruling first. Judgment is still being considered, so it would not be prudent for me to, to um, second guess what, will, what step will be taken from here. The DA believes that this will limit any further wrongdoings in as far as elections are concerned. I think it's going to be di very difficult for the IEC in future or for any party, especially with the local government um, registrations on the 5th and 6th of March, to allow for, for any funny business to happen. The ANC welcomed the decision of the court but says it is ready to contest what 13, the only word where elections will take place. Our forces are on the ground. They are ready for a victorious win over our opponents. The Tlaokwa Local City Council has 52 seats and seven are currently vacant. The ANC has 22 seats, while the DA-led joint opposition has 23. A political analyst at the Northwest University says Tlokwe may be heading for a hung council. If the ANC win the election, then we have a stalemate with 23-23, and it will be an interesting dynamic to have this scenario in the build-up to the national elections. The court has set aside the certification of voters' role. It has also ordered the IEC to provide all candidates with copies of the voters' roll, which contain fiscal addresses of all registered voters. Kabelo Molopi, SABC News, Pochis.